hopping on a boat. We're headed um, up to Seward. We're gonna surf the whole way. Two brothers, two continents, 15,000 miles. That'd be gnarly. In a quest to ride mountains at the top and bottom of the Americas. They're heading southbound on the longest navigable road in the world. It's gonna be cold. <laughs> they won't stop until the road does. This is Brothers on the Run. Drove all the way up to the end of the road, up in Homer AK. It's literally the end of the road. It's as far as Highway 1 goes. This is the furthest, most west highway in the Western Hemisphere. You guys actually got a mile count to uh, the southern tip of uh, Argentina from here? It's rough. It's a rough mile count. It's somewhere in between you know, 13 and 17,000. Yeah, nobody really knows. Is it one highway? 15 sounds good. Yeah, it feels good. We're starting it here. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're going south all the way. Good. Shwaya. Hey, Skip as she goes. Take us away. Back down. Ian brought a snowmobile. <laughs> Five hours. <Yeah>. Straight there. <laughs> Into the road, my ass! We'll just take a boat! So we were kind of all itching to get out there. It was pinned it all through the night to this uh, break that um, Captain Mike knew about. You know, that next morning had, you know, decent little swell, but not, not anything very exciting. Kind of gloomy, raining, and maybe like waist high. But the reality of it too, though, is just like any wave that you can catch in Alaska is fun. I think we need a much larger surf. Maybe more of a, a pipeline-esque wave to make them feel what I felt. Yeah, the first two or three days were really small and, you know, beautiful little setups. Like the first wave we went to, I just like, mind surfing the whole time just had it in my head exactly what it would be like if it was pumping the perfect river mouth really fast wave grinding on a shallow sandbar with a bunch of like tiny little cobblestone pebbles and it just left a mark on me i was like oh a little bit bigger but it was just like knee to waist high it was fun for the boys to get a little warm up and we we're there with ian walsh you know he's a big wave surfer and you're thinking and hopefully we can get some waves for this guy. Last day of the trip, we kind of got it. Maybe a couple feet overhead on the sets. Some good faces. And just such perfect shape. It was so fun. Yeah, you know, when we were out surfing, I was just so fired up. Like, there is nowhere else I would rather be right now. This is insane. I couldn't believe it. I kept saying it over and over out there in the water. I can't believe where we are. You're looking at just the most 
insane mountains surrounding you, and you're just in this ocean valley with perfect peelers coming in. Serving with Ian is epic because the fact that we got to do all that in seriously the span of a couple days from, you know, hooting in Ian into dropping some, some spine lines, which he was tripping. He was like, oh, it was the best couple runs of my life, um, to then being in the water with him all the time. So classic awesome being out there with the snow guys. <sighs> Icy peelers! Peelers! So fun to have them out. Like makes you remember why you love surfing so much, you know? It's like, felt like I was 13 again. They're so amped it made me psyched again. The good life continues, baby, here and now! After the boat trip, we ended up doing the slush cup. They got this, this thing at the end of the season where everyone comes out and uh, watches people dress up in funny costumes and try to make it across this pond skin. And I didn't know you needed a costume. Look in the closet, bathrobe, perfect. Pond skin, bathrobe, spa day, makes sense. I'm just gonna just go, go rip it. I think we're forerunning or something. Where are the guinea pigs? Gay sailor, let's do this. I didn't really expect to make it anyway, so yeah, I, I took a took an ollie over the snow from one pond to the next and pretty much face planted. A lot of carnage going down, which was always fun to watch. So, um, yeah, it's a good time. Yeah. To be totally honest, I kind of thought snowboarding was done. Or do, you know, do a little mountaineering. We ended up going out to the Alaska range. Nah, there we got Pat Moore. And believe it or not, we found epic snow. It was insane.